What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Lumion Live Sync in order to make changes in SketchUp that are instantly reflected in our Lumion rendering. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first things first, so this is a um, this is a SketchUp model that I've imported into Lumion and before you ask, yes, there's more in it like trees and stuff like that. I can turn those back on as well as grass. So there are more things that are in this model, but I've turned them all off for right now just to make this a little easier on my uh, on my computer. So one of the most powerful new features contained in Lumion 8 is the ability to change your models directly within SketchUp and also have them change within Lumion. This means that now instead of having to make changes outside of Lumion and have them reflect in here and you have to re-import your model, you can actually make a change in your model and have it automatically update using this extension. So this is actually a 3D warehouse model that I've brought in for this example. And I made some changes to the materials, but I haven't done a ton over in Lumion to make this super photorealistic. So this is more an example video showing you how the live sync actually works. And so uh, this model is the LA House by SZ Kristoff. And uh, you can uh, go find that by searching for that within the 3D warehouse. Um, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how the live sync app works. And so the way that this works are the live sync extension. So this is an extension that you install inside your SketchUp in order to basically link what's in your SketchUp model to what's in your Lumion rendering. So the, the way that you find that is you go up to Window, Extension Warehouse, and if you just type in Lumion, then the first thing that comes up here will be Lumion Live Sync for SketchUp. You can just click on that and you can just install that extension inside of SketchUp. And so once you do that, you just have to make sure the toolbar is on. So if you just right click in here, once that's installed, you should be able to check the box for Lumion Live Sync and that'll show up in here. So it's very easy to use and I'm gonna try to go split screen on this and I will try to record both so you can see what's happening. But once you've imported your model into Lumion and you also have it open in SketchUp, all you have to do is just click this play button. And when you click the play button, what it's gonna do is it's going to say down in the lower left hand corner Lumion Live Sync Initializing and what that's going to do is that's basically going to sync your SketchUp model with Lumion. And so now if I rotate around inside SketchUp you can see how as I rotate in my SketchUp model, my Lumion model is rotating as well. And so now these are synced. And so you can turn on or off camera synchronization. So you don't have to have it set up where when you rotate around in SketchUp, um, the camera changes over here in Lumion as well. But you can definitely do that. But now, in addition to changing my camera view, if I make a change inside my Lumion model like this, like if I was to delete out my default model, that change is also gonna be reflected in my Lumion rendering. And so because of that, this is really powerful because really anything you change in SketchUp is also going to change in Lumion. So if I was to come in here, for example, and let's say I just drew a box and I extruded it up, you can see how that's going to show up inside Lumion as well. And so a lot of what this is good for is like, for example, this model came in with some trees and some other things like that. Well, as you know, one of the powerful things about Lumion is its ability to have those really photorealistic trees. So I may want to turn those off. And in this case, I believe those are all on a layer over here in SketchUp. I think they're on a layer called Nature. And so if I turn those off, those are also going to turn off within Lumion. And so now that I have those turned off, I could come in here and I could add some trees of my own over here in my Lumion model. So it's really valuable for that sort of thing. It's also valuable, like let's say for for example that I wanted to remove this car model like I don't find it to be a very realistic model I think it actually takes away from this you can actually come in here and you can either right click and hide it and that'll hide it over here as well or you could delete it out and one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the camera synchronization that seems to slow things down a little bit so I'm just gonna turn that off but I could come in here and I could hide like this person for example I could right click and I could hide that and then that'll update within Lumion so being able to make those changes really quickly is really valuable. So now I can fly in and I can start adding things of my own. So I've made a couple changes over here. I could I could add some paving or something like that if I wanted to. But now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to replace a couple of those things using Lumion models. Just so you can see how you can quickly create something that's a lot more realistic. Um, or you can swap out SketchUp things. It might make sense in SketchUp, but they don't necessarily make sense in Lumion. So like for 
for example, now we could come in here and we could find more of like a palm tree, which I understand doesn't necessarily match up quite as well as it should with what's in the background here, but it's good for an example. Like let's say I wanted to bring in a couple of these. I could bring in a couple palm trees here. I could use the mass placement tool to place a couple bushes over here on this planner and adjust those settings so they look okay. And then maybe come in here and add something like a more realistic car. So then once we've done that, we could turn on our trees. We could kind of get our camera view the way we want it to be. And then we could go in here and we could we could load one of our presets, which we've talked about in a previous video. Make a few quick adjustments so we like our sun placement. And then we could render our image. And granted, we could do a lot more to this image if we wanted to, um, but for the sake of this, you can see how the power of being able to make changes quickly in your SketchUp model makes creating images like this really easy in Lumion. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you used Live Sync? How is it working for you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.